What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I wanted to give you guys a visual update on how well the DJI Mavic Mini actually can return to home with an autonomous return feature that it has and most of the new DJI's have, but I want to give you an idea of how good that the Mavic Mini's is. We'll use the actual case from the uh, combo pack to see how well and how accurate it gets back home. So stay tuned, we'll go ahead and launch this and we'll check it out and see what we can do. You can kind of get a good idea of how well it is holding in place. It is pretty windy out. I'm not sure if you can actually hear it from the, the mic on the camera, but you can definitely see it's blowing a little bit. All right, I also want to go ahead and show you guys how loud this one is as opposed to how uh, loud some of the other drones are that DJI offers. I'm gonna bring it right by the camera so you can get a good idea. By no means is it bad. So you can kind of see exactly, it's less than a foot away from the camera right now. Uh, it's loud, but not as bad as some have been. So for the size, it's still not gonna be silent, but at least you can see how loud it actually is. Let's go ahead and uh, send this out a little bit and see how well it works out. All right, let's go ahead and give it another try here. We'll send it away on sport mode this time to go a little further and see how well the return flight works on this one. So let's go ahead and do it. And we're out. All right, so we have went a total different direction here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the remote. I'm not sure if you can see it with the, the glare, but we're gonna go ahead and return to home now and see what we get out of it this time. All right, so it made a great time in sport mode coming back. I'm hoping it'll pull up in frame so you'll be able to see it. So it's right outside of frame. I'm gonna zoom out really quick. This time it landed. However, you can see exactly how far away. It's almost exactly halfway between the Coke bottle and where it should have landed. Again, not terrible you'd probably be able to make the save if you were even in a tight quarters, but my main concern with this is just what happens if you're launching it on a boat or a kayak, not so convenient to catch it or land it exactly where you came from. Not a big problem as long as you're still controlling it, but if you're running out of battery, it's just something to keep in mind. And we went ahead and did it one final time for return flight, and this one seems to be the most accurate yet any second you'll see it drop into place right into frame and that right there is easily the closest one we've had that was just a couple of inches off not too bad dji clearly hit it out of the park with this uh, i've been traveling with it recently and i love it i definitely recommend it if you guys are looking for a new portable drone or your first drone or even for you guys who are advanced pilots this is definitely one to bring with you. Thanks for watching guys. We will catch you in the next one.